So, sorry this uh, video is up late. I uh, had work commitments to where I had to be at a hotel and I had no way to watch the game really until today because by the time I got home on Thursday, on what, no, today, yeah, on Tuesday night, I was just too tired to do anything so I kind of just went right to bed. I still love my job, but, you know, it just prevented me from watching the Canes game until tonight, so... This video's up over to 48 hours late, but, you know, better late than never. Uh, so to start things off, you know, uh, congratulations to Jordan Stahl for playing 1,000 NHL games. That's honestly a great accomplishment. It feels literally like, not just yesterday, but it, it, it feels like he has not been on the Hurricanes for almost a decade now, really, like... I still remember the trade like it was a few weeks, years ago. Like, it feels like a couple years ago. I mean, if you look at it, the year the trade's getting drafted, Toivo Teravainen's, uh was on Bob McKenzie's uh, top prospects. And, you know, as they went through the highlight package of Jordan Stahl's career, you know, I got a little bit angry seeing Pittsburgh win the Stanley Cup in 09. That wasn't great, but the silver lining is Jordan Stahl did get a cup. The wrong stall brother of the Eastern Conference Finals won the cup that year. But back to that, you know, and then they showcased the trade to him coming to Carolina, which Carolina, I think, ended up winning that trade. So, you know, at least we got something over Pittsburgh. Uh, and seeing the highlights in Pittsburgh, you know, I got a little bit nostalgic, not going to lie, you know, seeing Jordan Stahl from Skinner and Falk. You know, it's like... Wow, he's really been on the Hurricanes for that long. And, you know, Carolina chooses to follow up, you know, those highlights and everything and how nostalgic I get by playing, like, the team from that decade of misery. Because they played, like, shit tonight. Yeah, they just, it was awful. They did not play like the Hurricanes at all. The, the Carolina Hurricanes, they had, did not have any killer instinct tonight. They were... Like a guy who's addicted to porn, they just couldn't finish. Uh, it was just... Like, they were just so fucking bad this game. Like, this is this is the worst fucking game of the season. I don't know how you come in and it's your captain season. It should be a fun, emotional night. And you fucking play like that? Jesus Christ. Like, it's just... They're comedically bad this game. Like, it's... It's, it's Detroit. They're the worst team in the division. Maybe Columbus is worse right now. But all throughout the course of the season, Detroit has been the worst game of the season. We were at one point the best game team in the division. And we have a losing record against Detroit now. I mean, that's just, that's fucking unacceptable. That, <laughs> like, I mean, where do you start with what went wrong this game? I mean... Uh, no one had a step. Our first line was invisible. Our second line was invisible. Our third line was invisible. Our fourth line was the most energy getting. I mean, not energy getting. Our fourth line ended up being our best line all game to the point where we had to switch it up to try and get something going. And we played good in the last seven minutes. And look at that. You actually get a goal and make the game look like it was a close game. But like Detroit, like Detroit outworked us. Like this is a Detroit that just traded one of their best players in Anthony Mantha. For, well, and we still, we can't, like, is that, like, the difference it took? Detroit trades away Anthony Mantha, and then we don't know how to cope. It's like, oh, what do we do? They traded some guy, you know? Well, like, is Hayden Flurry that important to the Hurricanes that as soon as we trade Hayden Flurry? I don't like that trade, but I'm not going to rant about it or anything because, like, based on my track record of Don Waddell trades, he's going to be, like, the solid number four defenseman just to fill out that middle core, but, you know, tonight fucking wasn't there, so I don't know. Uh, like, it's just... The power play fucking sucked. Sebastian Ajo was upset at Sam Gagne. You high-sticked him. And then, you know, it's like, oh, he was offside. Why the fuck are we tied with Detroit and we can't score against a, like, against a team who at one point gave Jimmy Howard no wins in his final season? We can't score a goal against a team that bad? Seriously? Uh, oh, no, we did score in the last six minutes. My bad. Like, Jesus Christ, this game was bad. Who would I give Hurricane the game to? You know what? I'm going to give some positivity. He got an assist in his 1,000th game, so at least we had that. I'll give it to Jordan Stahl. 
It was his 1,000th game. I wish everyone else could have played well. Fogel, he got he played really well tonight. I'll give Warren Fogel a shout out. Jacob Slavin had a nice block shot on the penalty kill. Okay, there's the positives. I mean, they had some stretches where they were getting chances, but it's like you can't you can't fucking finish the chances. So what's the point of getting them? All right. Better fucking beat Nashville tomorrow. That's all I gotta say. I cussed too much in this video, but it's just like that. That was the worst, most atrocious game of the season, close game or not. And uh, you know, like, yeah. Oh, and then, and then the other thing, the empty net, Carolina empties the net. Like empties the net, and they can't get it into the offensive zone. Are you serious against Detroit? I can understand maybe if Tampa came out. It's like if it was a motivated Tampa, sure. If it was, you know, a team fighting to get in the playoff spot, sure. But it's a team that's already out of it. Like, do you want to be like? This gives me shades of Tampa Bay Lightning from not last year, two years ago against Columbus. It's like, what do you want to? It's like, do you want to lose the first round after having a season this good? Because the way they played tonight shows signs of missing the playoffs. Like they got a lot of work to do now. I mean, th I was talking about playoffs and stuff. They got to recover before the playoffs start for me to have confidence in this team now. This game legitimately shakes my confidence in the Carolina Hurricanes going forward because it was that bad. Uh, it's two losses in a row to Detroit. The three losses in the season series to Detroit. How do you, like, not only that, it's impossible to have a winning record against Detroit now. That was the seventh game. We're not going to have a winning record against the worst team in the division. Let that sink in. The worst team in the division we cannot have a winning record against now. Yeah, at least the beginning of the broadcast was fun where they were highlighting Jordan Stahl's 1,000th game. He deserves it. I wish I could talk about more positive shit during this game, but instead I'm talking about the shit that Carolina produced today. So, yeah. All right. Now I think I'm done. So, if you uh, like the content I'm producing on the channel, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Am I overreacting when I say it makes me question uh, my confidence in the Carolina Hurricanes going into the final... Uh, season uh let me know and don't forget to hit like subscribe and share if you like the content i'm producing on the channel i'll see you guys tomorrow jesus christ